house in Kent, home of Charles Darwin. Looking forward to this. As a Darwinist and evolutionist, I'm really looking forward to this, so it yeah, should be good. Now if we walk through, we emerge from down the house. Lovely old tree in Darwin's garden. Very old. A bit chilly. Although it's bank holiday weekend, it's a bit chilly. Unfortunately, we couldn't actually film a video inside the uh, downhouse. Um, we're going to look all around the grounds and see what's, uh, what's occurring there. Going out to the grounds of downhouse. Very nice. For later. Look at that. Traditional mead. Imagine specimens of that tree. There. Just discovered this. A cabinet full of bees and wasps. It's a beehive, isn't it? Yeah, a little beehive. There's their way in and out, look. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's their way in and out, look at that. So they're, they're out collecting pollen and working and come back to the hive. You see the whole structure of it, can't you? It's what he uses as a laboratory. Yeah, might have actually. Lovely little garden, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a, a woman, a Victorian woman, who comes through the corridor, the long corridor, turns into this room and comes through to here. And if the weather's nice, she would come and sit out here. And this was a regular thing daily. If the weather was a bit cold or she would sit just behind the door there and look out onto the, the garden and flower beds. The, the strong impression I get inside the house I got the impression I didn't say anything and I'm getting it again here because I'm feeling something here around me is um, a young girl and I think it's his daughter that died um, away from here but I think she comes back here. I think she uh, she loved it here, played here, and mm. and you get that sense of her around the house still, you know. I really feel she's here, I mean spirit-wise, here. Not just residual. Popping in and visiting. Mm. Yeah. She loved this home. She died away from it, she comes back to it. So she's around, you reckon she's around by the tree and... This is where she's showing you running about here and playing here, hiding. And you can feel, I can feel the energy again over here. But I kept getting drawn over here when we were sitting mm. there. And I kept getting visions of her running around. There are another kids running around and playing out here. All locked, I think. Oh well. It's a Sunday. I know. Well, it's supposed to be open for services and things. I know, maybe it's a bit open later on. It's a nice little churchyard, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Nothing but an outside shell. Yeah, look. It's a shell, isn't it? Yeah. As you can guess, Al and I are in Westerham. We've come from um, Downhouse. Al and I are in Westerham now, and as some of you who know me from years ago, we filmed a certain, one of our very first films in this village in 1991. Well, come on! Don't you know a breakout when you see one? Some of you know what that film was, uh, based on a certain TV programme. Okay, we're going to the Western Church, the village church. Let's point out, in one of Alan's previous jobs, he used to actually dig up dead bodies. I don't know if that was preparing him for what he does now, but he told us some quite harrowing stories. And we, uh, Kingston Church, we went in when they redone the floor, my archaeological group. And we saw all these sort of things lifted up and the coffins mm. and stuff underneath. Oh, wow. mm. Remember John Frith, born in Buster and martyred Smithfield, 4th of July 1533. Great. Yeah. You've got, you got a basement there. Mm. You're standing there and you're not through the wall, but you're coming into someone's tomb. Yeah. Graves. Oh, yeah. Thank you.